All right, what's up, Street Dogs? There, Kim. All right, so unboxing and checking out the new 16-inch MacBook Pro. So, uh, vamos a ver. So, took out the plastic already. Taking it off. Bada bing, bada boom, space gray. The only color. It's actually not too heavy, surprisingly. Here are the plastic. Nobody cares for that. So, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful finish. Looks good. It has the two of the ports. Two of the USB ports on the side. Oh yeah, headphone jack. Nice little lip right here. And with the box, what do we got here? Signed by Apple. Big ass charging thing. Ooh. Oh boy. And yeah, my basic thoughts is in today's brave new COVID worlds where we ain't going nowhere, nice little thing. It seems actually more better to treat this more like um, a portable desktop than actually a laptop. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's open the bad boy. And take this off. You don't need that. Oh, nice, turns on. So, immediately the, the thing I'm curious about, so like how's it different and why does it matter? So, it looks like they brought back the initial style clickety response and I'm, I could type 150 words per minute so this really matters a, a lot to me. And it looks like they changed this back again to the old school one. And you know a lot of people criticize Joni Ive for the, the new scissor mechanism for the MacBook Pro 13 inches, but uh, I think for the, the size straight off, it was, it was definitely worth it. But I'm just kind of curious, like, because um, my, my personal issue is on the 13 inch MacBook Pro uh, touch bar with the scissors, I type a lot. And it actually causes me like some carpal tunnel when I'm typing too much on it. I'm not 100% sure uh, what it is. And so I'm just kind of curious to see what it'll be like to kind of play with this and see how it's going to feel differently. Let's see. Got to get the, the weefies. Mm -hmm. Connecting to the Wi-Fi's. Connecting. Data privacy. Sure, why not? And then we could just do the, the transfer stuff soon. <laughs> 